You know, sometimes there's a little device that you get for your studio that just kind of changes everything, makes it a little bit easier, hopefully. And this is one of those things that I um, I bought a long time ago and I said, you know what, I got to talk about this because I think there's other people that could benefit from it. So it's this. This tiny little two-piece doodad is called the claw. And it's called it's called that because it's got a little clampy thing like, like this. This is the claw. And then it's got a, a part that screws into the device. And this is really all this is for is for quick changing things around in your studio. It has a quarter twenty thread on this flat piece here and then there's a quarter 20 threaded female end on the base and the two of them together work that make it easy to swap your gear around very quickly for instance uh, what i'm talking to you on right now i've got a sony fx30 it's the nicest camera i have in my studio and uh, this sits on my teleprompter and for the most part, this is where it sits. But when I go on the road or when I want to take it out, I want to be able to pull it out and then place it somewhere on a tripod or on a gimbal and be able to have it nice and secure wherever I put it. Well, this particular, the teleprompter unit, or in pretty much any teleprompter, you got to screw it down and it's kind of a hassle to add things and take it away and put it back and so on and so forth and you have to realign everything it's a pain in the butt but with this claw device i'm going to show you a little bit of my workflow of how i get that camera that i'm talking to you on right now on teleprompter to my gimbal and then back and it's a really simple operation so again this device it's called the claw that's it. And there's a bunch of different versions of this. As a matter of fact, let me go over to, this is my little tabletop here. And you can see that it also comes in a ball head mount as well. And this is, I mean, quality. The This is pretty much an all metal design. Cold shoe mount here is plastic, but everything else is metal. And it's 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 got some heaviness to it. I mean, it's, but what at the same time, it also adds a certain level of confidence. If you're strapping your $1,800 or $4,000 camera to this top part here, you're going to, you want to make sure that it's going to stay put. And this little guy does. Now, what also is really cool about this, I'll take, th these parts are interchangeable, right? So if I take this base here and at the, let's say this is attached to my camera and that's sitting in the teleprompter if I want to put it on top of this this ball head imagine the camera being attached here I just snap it down and then it's it's in place and now my camera can sit on a tripod right and then I've got my ball head here and I can articulate it any way that I want and then when I get it to a point where I want it lock it down and it's it's solid it's not I mean, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So this is a really cool piece of kit right here, th this ball head. And they have things like, uh, they also have, you know, the tripods that have like the little hooks on them and you can hook it to like railing and stuff like that. Uh, they have that with the claw on top of it as well. So you can buy the claw as just a piece like I showed you when I first started this video, or you can buy it with uh, integrated into certain other types of devices. One of the other things that I wanted to point out on this before we get too far ahead is you'll notice that there is this little red button here. There's two icons, there's unlock and a lock. So if I snap this down, right, it's, it is now if I press the button, it comes apart. There is some rigidity, which means it's not just going to drop out, but probably more importantly, when you do snap it in like this, right? And you slide this over to the lock side. This is not coming out. It is in there. It's locked in. 
which is great, which means that you there's an extra peace of mind that not only do you have to unlock it and then press it to take the device out, but that extra step right there is not something that's going to happen simply just automatically. So that locking mechanism is just a simple little slide. And I've been caught, you know, where I'm sitting here trying to pull on the thing and, I, and, and it's not, what I try and do is I orient this red button because there's a black button side and then there's a red button side. And I try and orient the red button to the part that I can see no matter which way I approach this clamp so I can see that it is uh, unlocked or locked. And then that makes it easier for me. Like I said, I have it in my, uh, my camera right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over. So here's my iPad mini, right? And what I have right here is my uh, DJI RS3 mini gimbal. Now, first thing about this one is that Ulanzi also makes, if you notice right here, they make a claw adapter for where the camera would clamp on. Now, the one that comes with the DJI is fine, but again, it is something, this is, this is super quick. So if I'm pulling my camera right out of my teleprompter and then I'm dropping it in here, I can go do my thing and I come back into the studio. I pull this off of the, uh, the gimbal and then put it right back on my tripod and I'm back in business. Matter of seconds, right? There's no screwings, no futzing around with anything. So this is an additional piece that you, not, not this whole arm here, but just right here, this slides on and uh, you balance it like you would anything else on a gimbal. So that's that's point one. And then point two is, like I said, I've got the, the ball mount here. Now, the DJI, I bought the additional handles to give me some stability for it, right? And so this handle, I'm gonna screw down the ball mount onto this little quarter 20 adapter right there okay so now this is attached to my handle right now with the ipad mini if you look here's a is a clamp for my ipad mini and um, it's got a cold shoe adapter on top so if you wanted to put a light or a microphone or something like that you could just slide it right in there um, but it also with this ball mount, which comes with the, the, the base, you screw it down. And then if I want to create or use my iPad mini as my monitor for my gimbal, I just snap it in place. You can see now what I've got is my iPad mini as my monitor for the camera. And I've already tested it. It works great with Sony's new motion and control app this gives you a sense of what you could do with this so right now what i've got is this this ball mount so if i wanted to angle this like this i could do that and so if i'm if i'm you know looking at a subject or i've got it low i can still see my monitor and of course if i have it high or above me i can angle it this way and then be able to look up at my camera so here's my camera that was in the teleprompter, right? Notice there's the, the claw uh, base right there. And then here's my gimbal, right? And so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take this monitor off for a second just so I can see things a little bit better. That usually goes on last anyway. So let's go ahead and put my camera onto the claw base. And there I am. You know, let me aim it down a little bit so you can see. To be able to do my pan tilt zoom here. But you can see here's, okay, so here's my gimbal with the claw, right? So there's claw here holding it in place. And then I've got the claw for the monitor. So the camera is currently still on. And what I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go to the monitor control app click connect and join do, 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 do. and this works out in the field because it's using a peer-to-peer wi-fi connection 
takes a couple of seconds. But now you can see if I move my camera, there we go. And we don't need that. Why don't you come back over there? There we go. So obviously it's a little bit out of focus, but let's go ahead and we'll tap it here. And so now I have what my camera is seeing currently on my iPad, right? See, as I move the camera around, it's updating on the iPad. So this is ultra cool because now I have a full on touch screen here and that doesn't record on the iPad necessarily, but what it allows me to do is monitor and change all the functions like white balance and my aperture settings, all that stuff, uh, ISO. So then I can just clip this right in here. And now I'll turn on my gimbal. Let's go this way, guy. There we go. Now I've got my gimbal set up, right? And you can see there's my where my camera's looking. I'm gonna use a little joystick here and I can aim it up or down, right? And it's updating. And notice that the the claws right here. I got another claw right here. And when I need to break this down, I simply unlock this one and I unlock this one and I'm back in business just with whatever I, wherever I need to put them. So, I mean, ultra convenient, super easy. Um, yeah, like I said that at the beginning of the video, sometimes there are things that come along that, that simply change the way you do stuff in your studio. All right, I'm going to put this guy back in the teleprompter for the moment so I can talk to you guys in normal. Here I am back. I mean, seriously, less than a minute and I'm back up and I'm on my teleprompter again. And it's the exact same camera that you just saw inside the gimbal setup. So um, again, I, I wanted to show you guys this because mainly because I, I just think it's it's kind of a game changer when you're swapping stuff around. And this isn't just for camera gear. Um, I'm about to go on the road and I'm bringing some of the tube lights with me. Actually, the lights that are in the back behind me, you can't see them right now, but um, they're on stands. And right now, to get them off the stand, I have to sit there and unscrew them. But it's way easier when you think about it. If you get one of these guys and you put this part on the bottom of the light and this part on the top of the stand, and then you just boom, you pull them apart and then you pack them together and then off you go. It's it's really uh, it's so convenient and they're not okay. So a lot of people are gonna say, well, how much do these cost? They like anything else in the camera business. They're they're not super cheap but they're also not super expensive for what they do so figure to spend about anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars for one of these guys and then i believe the ball mount is about i want to say it's about on amazon i've seen it for about i have some links at the bottom of the video but as of today which is the end of january 2024 they are about $40 for the ball mounts. So, but you, you buy them once and then you're good, right? And you can buy just this part, the, the part that goes on the things that you want to clamp to the base. You can buy these separately as well as these. So you don't have to buy them as a kit. Obviously they're cheaper if you get them together at once, but sometimes you may have more devices that, and, and less things to, for those devices to clamp into. So you need more of these, the flat pieces, which I believe are $8 without any kind of discount. Um, and then you only attach these to the objects that you want to clamp to. So again, it's called the Lanzi Claw. And uh, like I said, I'll provide links down at the bottom. Those are my Amazon and Lanzi affiliate links. So if you found this video at all helpful, please support the channel. I would really appreciate it. This is, I'm going to continue to do these kinds of videos for studio gear, things that I'm going to use within my studio for Ecamm production purposes. So 
Anytime I have anything in the studio that I think might be of interest to you, just in general, I will put them up here on the uh, on the, the channel. So I hope this helps. And again, if you found any value out of this video, please hit the like button. Certainly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, it'd be really great if you could. The more people we have on here, the merrier. And I continue to create content for the Ecamm and streaming users out there. All right. Till next time. Take care, everybody.